Hi everyone, this is Purse Style here and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a super lovely day. Today I'm going to be filming a more up close look at my latest um, handbag in my collection and this is the Chanel wallet on chain in the boy design with the short strap. And so I was going back and forth for about a month in terms of whether or not I was going to purchase this bag and in the end I decided to get it and I'm so glad that I did. Um, my initial hesitations were that I actually also just got this one here. This is the Chanel um, classic wallet on chain and um, in the silver hardware and you can see that the coloring is very similar. But then in terms of its aesthetic and also the way that it feels in terms of its use is quite different and so um, I feel like the two in my collection are <laughs> very justified. Okay, so I just wanna do a quick size comparison first because I think that um, that would be very helpful for those people who are considering either or. And so as you can see in terms of the height, the classic walk is just a little bit bigger. And in terms of its width, it's very, very similar. So it's about that much. So the classic wall on chain is a lot bigger. Um, I have to say that this one, the boy walk, does feel more like a true wallet, whereas this wall on chain seems kind of big for an actual wallet. Um, the other thing that's a really big difference in terms of the two bags is the sides. So I just want to show you quickly the sides. So this one folds up kind of like a classic wallet where you can see like a, a U at the bottom and so it's very narrow at the bottom and it gets bigger at the top. The Chanel classic wallet on the chain has more of this kind of fold out style where like the base can get quite wide as you can see so definitely potentially you can fit more in the classic walk. Okay, so I just want to talk a little bit about um, its exterior look. So it is in this um, aged calfskin leather with ruthenium hardware. I definitely like the aged calfskin. It feels softer than this one, not as soft as lambskin of course, but softer than this one but more durable than lambskin. And it has, um, you know, the CC sort of like the mock clasp I guess. And it also has um, some chain design braided in with some pieces of leather. And I really like this because I did compare this with the wallet on chain, the regular boy design, and the regular boy design just has like the stripes, right? And so I think given that this is such a small bag, it definitely adds a little bit more substance to the bag. It's a little bit more dressier. So I definitely like that. And yeah, so I'll get started on what's inside. Just letting you know, it's gonna be hard to show the inside because the inside is black, just like the outside. And I am fil filming pretty much with one hand. So let's just show you what in what's inside. So I'm gonna open this up. And it is a magnetic closure, which I think is a big improvement from the snap closure. Um, you do have to search for it as well, the way you would with a snap closure. But then the difference is once you find it, it's just kind of like you hear that click and, and it's done. Whereas this one, if you take it off and you're looking for it, you have to like, you know, constantly be pressing down on these CCs, whereas you don't have to do that with this one. And so in the interior flap, this is what it looks like. It's sort of the same um, aged calfskin, which is nice. I don't prefer the smooth only because I feel like that might show scratches more. And so I'll show you what I have inside. So um, the, the stuff that I'm going to be pulling out is from like sort of the main compartment, right? So I have a lipstick and that was kind of the only place I can kind of fit that in, which I would prefer if it would fit at the bottom, but if it's better at the top. I have my Louis Vuitton clay, um, and this I use this as my wallet, and then I also have three of my keys hanging from it. And then I have my phone. Oops. And then I also have I think it's here. I have my chapstick here. And then I'm just gonna try to show you the inside maybe from this angle here. So the inside is a little bit black. Um, it is made out of a fab fabric inside, which I kind of prefer. I don't prefer to have something silly like lambskin inside. I feel like I'm just gonna scratch that up. So I, I, I definitely like that it is fabric. There is a main compartment and then there's like a zipper compartment as you can see right over here. And in there, I think right now I just have the authenticity card and my flat black comb. And the behind the zipper pocket, there is one other pocket and then there's also one big pocket back here, but they're both very flat. I can slip my phone in there, but I actually prefer to have my phone in the main compartment uh, just because I feel like it's easier to take out. And then inside here, it's gonna be so hard to show, but inside here, there is like some more pockets here. There's, um, it's kind of like that classic flap design where there's like a, a, lipstick, a lipstick holder in the middle and then two pockets on the side. Um, but I feel like when you put the lipstick here, 
because it's so bulky going this way, it doesn't fit much in there. So it doesn't seem like a really good design to have that there. So the difference between this one and this wallet on chain is that this wallet on chain has individual credit card slots and this one doesn't. And for some of you that might be a con because if you don't want to use like a clay for your wallet, then you need to slip your cards in those pockets on the side. And those are very, they're, they're not very secure, or you can put it in the zipper pocket that works too. What I like to do, what I have right now, is I have my main credit card sort of hanging deeply into this pocket. So it's a nice deep pocket. And so if I wanted to just grab my um, credit card, I have it here. Um, it also does fit my phone. I'm, just gonna, I'm not gonna tuck that in right now, but it does fit my phone as you can see. I'm just worried right now that it might stretch out the back. Initially that was my intention because then I wouldn't have to open the bag to access my phone and maybe maybe I'll do that later on but right now because it's such a new bag I don't want to stretch it out but it does fit um, your uh, like a small phone if you have one and yeah and so that's the bag and so what you can do is you can take the straps off as well I use it as a wallet Let's see if I can do this with one hand you can take that off and then you can attach it to one side and make it into a wristlet that looks like that or um, if somehow you can get a hold of another chain that looks similar to this one and it's long, I guess you can make it a long crossbody strap too, which I think would be really cool. And one thing I want to show you that I didn't show you in my reveal video is this thing here. So it actually also came with this. So this is like a little bonus here. So this is a little, I don't know, pouch that also came with this bag. I guess the reason why they have this pouch is because maybe they don't have those credit card slots. And so pretty much it's in that same, um, leather design, the aged leather design. It has a snap button and it's a very flat card case, I guess. And you can't put all your cards in there. And so instead of using maybe this clay, you can have this inside with your phone and a lipstick. That would definitely fit. I think your keys would fit in there as well. And so that's kind of a really nice add-on if you were gonna use this. I don't think I'm gonna use this only because I like to have my keys with my wallet. Um, but I definitely think that it's really cute that it matches and it's nice that it's there. I'll have to think of a purpose for this. As you can see, it's, it's super flat. So um, I don't, you can't fit too much in there, but it is, um, it, it will fit, you know, your credit cards, your license, your health card, things like that. It will fit the main essentials. And maybe this would be good for another bag or you can put your store cards or your loyalty cards or something like that. Like, I mean, I could probably even use this for this one as well. Okay, so that's all I have to say about this bag for now. I hope I answered all your questions. I did have to film this a couple of times, so I'm afraid I might be missing something, but if you do have a specific question, I'll be happy to answer it um, in the comment section below. And um, if you haven't caught the previous video that I filmed in terms of the outfit of the day, if you wanna see how it looks like on, you can check that out. Um, one thing I wanna say about this bag is that, I know some people say it's not a bag. Actually, the sales associate was telling me it's not a bag, it's not a bag, it's a wallet, right? But I'm gonna use it as a bag and as a wallet. And what's nice about this is that if, is that if you find the regular boy bags just too either too big or too boxy, this is a nice alternative because it is so flat. Um, of course, you can only carry the bare essentials, so up to you. I definitely like carrying as little as possible when I can get away with it, but I definitely don't really want to compromise on style, if that makes sense. And so that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and like and comment. And actually, I want to show you just one more thing because I, you know, I was making this sort of the Chanel related bag is that this is the newest nail polish I got from Chanel and it is in the color, let's see, ballerina. And I just think it's like such a beautiful translucent pink. Anyways, that's it. Um, I will talk to you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.